Hi everybody, welcome to Canvas Kids. This week we are going to paint a gingerbread house. It's going to be looking like this, okay? So everybody should have their canvas with the gingerbread house traced on it and all your paints open. The first thing we are going to do is take the white. Take your brush and paint the areas that are going to be white, which is the snow at the bottom. And don't worry about going over the lines. You can go over the lines because when we put in the other colors, it'll cover it up anyway, okay? So don't worry about having to stay in the lines nice and neat this time. Yeah, yet anyway. So put a thin layer of white paint down. Try not to make it too heavy. And right now we're starting with the bottom, which is where the snow is. So we want that white. When you're all done with the snow at the bottom, you're going to paint this part right here, which is going to be the candy cane part that goes between the door and the house. And you don't have to worry about staying in the lines on that either. Just go ahead and paint it in. Just make sure you get all of the candy cane part, but if you get into the brown areas, it's fine. Then these two candies, Go ahead and just paint over the whole thing real quick. Just remember, try to keep it nice and thin, not a thick layer. And then the snow up in the roof. And don't worry about getting it on the house or the gumdrops. Just keep it light. Nice and thin layer. Then the thin layer will dry fast and it won't cover up your lines. Not too much anyway. Okay, so I think I got it all. Yes, it all looks shiny. Looks like I got it all. Okay, oops, you know what? The door. The little window in the door also. Okay. So go ahead and put your brush in your water. Now you may want to wait for a few minutes until yours dries some, but I'm going to keep going. I'm actually going to turn this around and I'm going to do my gumdrops now. So the little parts up there, I'm going to take a smaller round brush and I'm going to take the yellow first and I'm going to do the yellow ones. It doesn't matter which order you do them in. Do it whatever order you want. I'm just choosing to do this order, okay? And if you don't even like one of the colors and you don't want to use one of the colors, you can go ahead and skip one. But I think it looks the best Christmassy way. So I'm going to start out with my lightest one first. That way, when I rinse the brush off, if I don't quite rinse it off all the way, it'll be okay in the other ones. All right, so after my yellow, I am going to do my green ones. Bristles on uh, my brush keep spreading out. Okay. 
three. And then this one is the green one. Now when you do your gum drops, try to stay in the lines because you're not going to do anything else with them or around them except for the background. Okay, so the green are finished. Now I'm going to do the red ones. Okay. one. Yes, I did them all. Okay. All right. So now you're also going to do the little parts inside the candies. And first you're going to do these. Well, it doesn't matter if you do it first or second. And then you're going to do the stripes that are in the middle of your candy cane around your door. I'm actually going to do the candy cane around the door first. I'm going to take a smaller brush for that. And it's up to you how big your stripes are going to be. I didn't draw them in. I figured you could just decide for yourself how big you want your stripes for your candy cane. And don't worry so much if you go over into where the brown is going to be because we haven't painted the brown yet. So it should cover up any red that goes over the line. Try not to get a whole bunch over the line, but... All right, so just go ahead and paint stripes, however thick or thin you want them. You might want thick ones, you might want thin ones. You even might want a different color stripe. Go ahead and paint all your stripes. Okay, so my stripes are done. So now I'm going to do the little candy part on here. You can decide which ones, which part you want red, and which part you want to just leave in the white. 
and you can kind of connect your lines then too. It's a little harder when you're tracing it with the tracing paper to keep it all nice and straight. So just every other spot you want red and then you want to leave the other spot open because it's got the white on it. It's the candy cane. Now this time you don't want to really go over the edge because it'll show up in the background which is the light green. Okay, I'm going to turn this one a little bit so I could reach it better. And then I'm going to do this one. So just every other place is going to be red and the other side is going to be left white. Okay. Now, while that is drying, we are going to go ahead and do the brown. Sometimes your colors might be slightly different than my colors, but it doesn't really matter. It's just that sometimes I run out of colors at home or sometimes I have the other ones at home. Okay, so now we're going to do the whole gingerbread house. And I'm going to start inside by the door. So otherwise I'll probably put my arm in the outside part. So go ahead and paint around the candy cane and around the window and your brown should cover up any of the red that might have gone over Turn it around so I can get the bottom part that's near the snow. So I got a little bit of red because my red wasn't dry, but that's okay. I just worked it in. Can't even tell. Okay, so there's your door. Now you're going to do the rest of the house. Try to be nice and careful that you don't go over the lines for this part.
Remember, you can always pause the video to catch up or to let yours dry for a little bit before you go on. Turn it. Okay, so now the house is finished. Okay, we need to make some green for the background that's lighter than what we have, just straight green. We don't want to do straight green. So what I'm going to do is take a bunch of yellow, and this is all up to you on what shade of green, light green, you want your background. But you definitely want to lighten it up because you want it to be able to show next to your other green gumdrops. And you don't really want to just do yellow either because you have yellow drops, gumdrops. So, so take some yellow. I'm going to take a lot of yellow. And then I'm going to take a little green. I'm just going to take this much green and that much yellow and see how it is. You might even want to do less than that. It's up to you. Turn it around so I can reach it better. Remember the dark colors go a lot further. So you have to use a lot more of the light color and a lot less of the dark color. Okay, I like this color. I'm going to go with this one. And if you have a different color left over at home and you'd rather do a different color than this lime green, you could do that too. It's up to you. It's your painting. Okay, so now you're going to paint the entire background all around the house, which is going to be the tricky part not getting it over the other lines. You should still be able to see your line for your candy, for your lollipop. Because the green isn't that dark. And you might want to use a smaller brush when you get around the shapes everywhere. And make sure your other ones are all dry. 
I had a little bit of red smear in mine because my candy wasn't quite dry yet. So remember to always do that. So go ahead and do the whole background. And switch to a smaller brush where you need to to get around all the other parts. Doesn't really matter so much either which direction you paint for your background. It's up to you. Okay, I'll turn this around. <laughs> Try to go a little quicker here, just so this video isn't so long. Just pause it so you can catch up. I said you can be neater. I'm just trying to hurry up so you guys don't have a super long video to watch. Okay, so once your background is dry, we don't have a lot left. Actually, I'm going to turn it back around that way for a minute. Up on the house, the gingerbread house, there's a bunch of little polka dots up there. So I'm going to take my tinier brush, my smaller round brush, and I'm going to do one color at a time. And I'm going to start with the lightest one again. So I'm going to do yellow. And I'm just going to make some little dots here and there. Don't cover it completely because you got to have room for the other colors. It's up to you how many you want. And even really how big you make them. Okay, so once you're done with the yellow, go ahead and make some green ones. You're done with the green. Go ahead and do some red ones. Oops. You can always go back and add more once you finish all three colors and you don't think you have enough.
Oops, too big on that one. The brush is going flat. Okay. So now your last step is to outline, and I forgot to get a black out, is to outline some of the other parts. Oh, that's purple. Okay, I can't find a black in with mine right now, so I'm just going to outline mine in dark brown. But you use your black that I gave you. So just take a skinny brush and you want to outline your window. Remember, yours will be in black. And then you want to outline, I'm going to do this sideways because I do better. You're going to outline this line that's right underneath the house. Like that. And then you are going to do your stick for your lollipop and you have a little wavy part under here okay Okay. There we go. And this one did not have a doorknob. And it didn't bother me before, but for some reason now it bothers me that it doesn't have a doorknob on the door. So I am going to take my dark brown and I am just going to also make a little doorknob. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it was bothering me. Okay, that's it. So don't forget to put your initials on it, and you are all set. And this is the last class for this session, so thanks for coming.